Hi there, today we're going to learn about object-oriented programming. So up until now, uh, we've been focusing on Java basics like syntax, and we've also learned about things like loops and methods and, uh, and decision structures. Um, and you've even used objects. You've been using classes, but uh, we, we haven't backed up and explained exactly what object-oriented programming is. So uh, that's hopefully uh, what we're going to do today. We're going to explore this this entire concept here um, using classes and objects. Uh, we're going to do this in two steps. The first part is going to be a demo. We're going to create a demonstration uh, where we use two classes together at the same time. One's going to be the main class and the other's going to be the rectangle class. And then we're going to um, jump into uh, the notes. Uh, and that's going to be uh, the next video after this one that will back up and explain um, you know, further what object-oriented programming so, what, what it is. So if uh, these, uh, if the, the demonstration that we do, if, if the concepts are fuzzy, then you'll definitely want to watch the, uh, the video tutorial with the notes that goes along with this to, uh, to clarify things. All right, so let's jump into the demonstration today. We're going to just uh, create a program. Let's go File, New Project. I'm going to go Java Application. And right here, I'm going to say crow underscore zero eight three underscore rectangle class demo. And notice you're usually used to coming down here and unchecking create main class. You want to leave this the same way it is. You don't want to uncheck it, leave it checked. Then we're going to go to finish. The reason that we're doing that is so that uh, we have a package, so that NetBeans will create a package for us. So right here, we have our. Um, main class. Let me go ahead and get rid of these documentation comments because sometimes they can be kind of confusing. We haven't gotten to documentation comments yet, but we will. So, notice that the first statement here is a uh, package statement, and this is just saying, hey, uh, make this main class part of uh, the, the crow underscore zero eight three underscore rectangle class demo package. And that's what we want. Inside my main class, I have a main method and we're going to come back and we're going to put we're going to put some code in here before we do that I'm also going to create another class and this one I'm going to call rectangle so let's say rectangle and notice that when I create this class uh, it also um, has this package statement in there that means that hey uh, this main class and this rectangle class are both going to live underneath the same package so let me go ahead and delete this. I'm going to copy and paste some code in here so uh, we can all be on the same page. All right, here we are. So let's think about a rectangle for a second. Rectangles have um, variables, and uh, the variables that they have are, uh, you know, its length. A rectangle has a length and it has a width. And we, that's what we're doing right here in this class. We're declaring the length and we're declaring the width. Now you might say to yourself, well, wait a second, these two variables, they're not in any method. And that's exactly what we want. Most of the time when we're creating classes, um, they're not, we're not going to have a main method. The only main method, um, that there's within a program, a Java program, you're only going to have one main method. And that main method in this main class that we have right here is eventually going to access this rectangle class that we have. So in this uh, class that we have, we're just going to declare these two variables. These are the classes uh, fields, these uh, variables right here, so dbl length, dbl width. We'll talk about why um, they're private later. That has to do with data hiding. We'll get to that eventually. So let's think about a rectangle and uh, the types of things that you can do with a rectangle. Well, you can set the width for a rectangle. You can set the length. A rectangle. You can also get the length from a rectangle. You can get the width from a rectangle, and we can calculate the area of a rectangle. So I'm going to create methods that do all those things. So right here, I've got my first method called set length, and notice that uh, this has a parameter declaration. So uh, it is being sent a value, and uh, right here I've called this value that is being set dblp length. So then I've got dblp p length, and I'm setting that equal to dbl length. I'm setting that equal to whatever this is. So let's say uh, we'd send this this method right here a value, and then we'd we're setting this uh, length method right here equal to whatever the values that we sent it. So if you set if you send the set length method a value of five, dbl length right here becomes five. And then right here I'm just displaying it to the screen. dbl length is uh, dbl length. I also have a set width method right here. This is the same thing. It's uh, accepting a value. It's got a parameter declaration. So if you send the value of eight 
to this uh, right here. We're going to set dbl width equal to 8. And we're going to print the following to the screen. So now dbl width becomes 8. We have a get length method. Notice this has a return type of double instead of void. This method up here, set width, wasn't returning any uh, anything. This right here is returning a, uh, a value, a double data type value. It's going to return whatever dbl length is. So if we set dbl length equal to uh, 5, then this right here would return the value of 5. I've got another value called get width, and this does the same thing, return dbl width, returns the width. And down here I've got a, um, a method called get area. And this uh, has a return type of double. What I'm doing is I'm um, declaring uh, a local variable called dbl area, and then I multiply the length and the width here, and then that goes into dbl area, and then I return whatever value that is. So if uh, length was 5, and if dbl width was 8, this would be um, 40, and then this return value of 40. So this right here is our rectangle class. Let's go into our main class and see how we would actually use this. All right, so I copied and pasted some code in here. Notice that uh, you know I've got the package statement up at the top here. And then the first thing I do is import uh, the JOption pane class, and I've got my main class header right here, and then I've got my main method right here. So the first thing I do in the uh, the main method is I declare two variables: one's str input, one's d uh, dbl number. You guys have done that before. No no uh, new surprises there. Then I show the user, uh, you know, welcome to the rectangle demo program, and then I have a statement here that you probably haven't seen before: rectangle space box equals new rectangle. And I'm using the rectangle class that we created right here. So I'm just saying rectangle box equals new rectangle. So now we have an instance of the rectangle class in uh, the memory of our computer. And this box object has access to uh, the variables has its own uh, dbl length variable, your own dbl width variable, and it also has a set length variable, a set width variable, a get uh, length uh, a method, a, I'm sorry, these are methods, uh, set length method, a set width method, get length method, get width method, and a get area method. So we're going to use the boxes uh, uh, methods and variables right here. So we say, we ask the user, enter the length of the rectangle, all right, that's going to go into dbl number, and then I'm saying box dot set length dbl number. So notice I'm sending this set length method a value of dbl number. So in here set length. So here it is set length. I'm sending it a, uh, a value right there. And then whatever that value is, it's going to dbl length is going to become that value. Okay, the same thing here. Then enter the width of the rectangle. So then I'm taking the width and I'm saying box.setWidth. I'm using the setWidth method from the box object. And I'm setting the width. Right here, I say the box's length is, and I'm using this method, get length, to return whatever the length is. Because remember, inside the rectangle class here, I've got this get length, and all I'm doing is returning whatever DBL length is. And the same goes for the box is width. I've got box dot get width. Okay, down here, I've got boxes area is box dot get area. So now I'm using the boxes get area method to calculate the area, and then it'll be it'll get sent back here. So if I run this, if I run the main method, if I say run, crow, uh, Mr. Crow, period three, welcome to the rectangle demo program, and to the length of the rectangle. So I'm going to say uh, five. And the width is 8. The box's length is 5. The box's width is 8. The box's area is 40. I just used those methods um, from, uh, the, from the, the box object because it has access to these, uh, these rectangle uh, you know, variables and, and methods. And I displayed those to the screen. So next we're going to look at the, uh, the, the notes tutorial. And if this didn't make sense, that's OK. If it's fuzzy, watch the notes and everything should be clarified and uh, you know, everything should come into clear understanding. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the notes.